I really shouldn't have wore a stripy top. Why? Because because we're recording two videos right now, people are gonna be like, oh, that's the same top. Everyone knows that we do but that. But when you wear like uh Everyone does that. When you wear a top this kind of like No no, everyone um, knows Cindina filmed two videos in a day and that's why we we're wearing the same thing. If you didn't know that, let us know in the comments. I bet you you did not know that. Uh, they all know it. Anyway. We haven't said hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. <laughs> the title of the email is... Yo, <laughs> let me just relax. Give me your shoulder. Here. What's your problem, love? You look crazy. I don't. Don't be a prick. Yeah, make it bigger as well. Because <laughs> you haven't got any muscles. Bullied by my own race and religion. I am a 17-year-old Muslim girl who is trying to live a normal Muslim American, American life. life. I just have one problem. My Turkish community... Oh, I didn't expect that. Brackets, I am Turkish myself. ...has put so much pressure on me that I'm actually starting to lose my faith. What is that noise? Oh, it's the washing machine. It's okay. I constantly get bullied and harassed by Turkish guys in my community through social media. Brackets, never in person though, because our community would never allow us to actually talk it out in person. They keep telling lies, lies about me behind my back as if I am some kind of a slut when really I have never even held a boy's hand before. I keep finding these awful things being said about me and although I try to ignore it, I can't really say that it doesn't bother me. I have distanced myself from my community and have blocked several of them from social media but they still seem to find me somehow and make comments about me that depresses my mood. I want to live a normal halal life but I constantly get these comments about the way I dress. Brackets, I used to wear a hijab, but even now I don't wear anything revealing, but they still find a flaw. They talk about how I talk to my guy friends at school or even simple stuff like me wearing mascara. I have heard awful stuff that I don't even want to mention. Anyway. Oh, you're out of breath. Anyways, my point is the fact that people from my own race and my own religion judge me more than non-Muslims and non-Turks and I am sick and tired of it. I know you can't blame the religion, only the people, but these people are pushing me away from my religion and everything I believe in with all their judgments. I feel so hopeless and I'm in desperate need of advice. What else can I do to avoid it or should I avoid it? How do I react to my situation without losing my iman? I really hope this becomes a video because I am pretty sure I am not the only girl who suffers from this. Yeah, you're not. We've got a girl right here who suffers from it. <laughs> yeah, I, I've been suffering from it for quite some time. Wait a second, I'm just fixing the screen. I've been suffering with this issue for quite a long time. Are you being sarcastic now? Obviously. So basically, this girl is getting judged by her own community and she feels like it's pushing her away from her faith. From her, from being Muslim? From being Muslim. I know loads of people like that. I felt like that sometimes. Everybody knows you're a Muslim. You're a Muslim, right? If you do anything, anything, whether you are religious or not, people will shoot you down. And this is my huge problem. What if a person is not religious at all and you come bombarding them, you're gonna to go to hell, you're doing this, you're doing that, you're doing this, you're doing that, blah, 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 and they don't wanna know. Why do you consistently keep going at them like that? Yeah, this why... is what I don't understand. Oh, this is what we were talking about the other day, how people like to remind someone or give them the Islamic advice, but then for some reason they don't let it go. Yeah, remind them, like, it's fine. All you to have to do is remind and be on your way. You're not supposed to sit there and wait for that person to decide to agree with you and go ahead and do as they're told, like which a lot of Muslims do. They literally make it their problem and their, their problem to solve, like, because in their head, what you're doing is so wrong. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to literally remind and remind and remind and remind until I see a change. It's not, it's, not, it's not your place, especially when it comes to like strangers and that. It's not like a for reminder. for example, what's the example you gave me? Your brother, he likes to remind you on certain things. And then, and he, then just, he just leaves he it. He just moves on. And which, that's I love, why, which I love. That's why you have a nice relationship with him. Because yeah. if he just went on and on and on and on and on, every time you saw him, you'd be like, you know, Sammy, just shut the fuck up now. <laughs> yeah. And you just get annoyed because people, that's not how humans work. This is the thing though. There's, there's reminders 
and then there's just a vendetta yeah. you have against a person. Yeah. And majority of the reminders are not genuine. People have this thing in their head like, I am higher than you, you do not know shit. I'm going to tell you how it is. Especially if you're a public figure, have you seen the messages that Dina gets? I'm in shock at some of the messages Dina gets. But this I'm in is shock. what I was... And I, I, most of the time, Dina's just like, so thick skinned. Most of the time it's me deleting and blocking because I'm just like, people have a go at me as well. They're like, oh, yeah. how'd you let your woman online? <laughs> how'd you let... This is not just a woman on woman thing. This is not just a, 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 a man on woman thing. This is a man on man thing and a woman on man it's thing as well. It's not even a man on man thing. It's a man obsessing over how another man <laughs> Decides People have a goal to live me. with his wife. Yeah, they're like, oh, and these men are married. They're like, you better no. But women have a go at me all the time. Women they're like, you better control you. your wife. I'm yeah. just like, I'm just like, okay, what is she? A monkey t changed up, chained up to the kitchen counter? What? I don't, I don't understand. What do you mean? Are we in a circus? The, the woman sending, in, the girl sending in an email. You want to call her a slut and all this stuff because and, she's wearing mascara and, and slandering she's wearing her. Mascara. Like she's wearing some black liquid that makes your eyelashes look like spider legs so she's a slut now yeah like that's how ridiculous it is and these are the same guys who are wearing like jeans with their ass hanging out and gel in their hair like what's the difference between you putting gel in your hair and a girl putting a bit of contour on her cheeks seriously the, yeah she's a woman that's why <laughs> but i'm just saying like the, there's the, just no the thing is like there's just there's no thought process behind anything that a lot of these people do. There's no actual thought process. I'd be from fine. From start to finish. I'd be fine if this was a thought in your head to, and that's where it went. That and, was and the extent stayed, of it. Yeah, that, that was true. the extent of it. For you to go and, and belittle people and call them names. If you're really a Muslim person or you're a person of religion, why would you go and try and hurt another person's feelings? That makes no fucking sense to me. So the whole Twitter thing that's gone on, if you don't know, then good, you don't know. And there's like a million different people, mob mentality going after Dina. She, now she's at home laughing a flipping head off. Because there's not that much going after me. They're just like, delete the tweet, terrible advice. And I'm just like, shut up, you're an idiot. <sighs> well, I've blocked most of the people and deleted them. That's oh, why. really? Yeah, so you're not going to see it. Oh. That's the thing, though. I like to protect her, innit? <laughs> One thing that you guys don't know is I don't go on Twitter a lot. When I put out a tweet, I actually always forget to quickly check. Like, it's not like Instagram. When I put up a picture, I might refresh that for the first 20 minutes or something. But Twitter, I'll tweet and then I actually forget sometimes for a whole day to go back on Twitter. If, you, if, 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 sure. if you've been blocked by Dina Tokyo, you haven't been blocked by Dina Tokyo. You've been, you've been blocked, blocked by, by me. Siddi Khan. Yeah, because I'm just like, I don't, I don't want that block. negativity. Dina doesn't block. I don't block anyone. I block. So... So, so everybody screenshotting, getting all hype. Oh, I've won my battle. Dina Tokyo blocked me. She didn't. She didn't block Yo, you. Sid. She didn't even notice Dina you, couldn't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even notice you, mate. <laughs> So, so th this girl that emailed us in, what she's going through basically is people in her community chatting shit about her for bloody no reason and it's just going to push her away even further. And to be honest with you, girl, you know what I say to you? I say, get out of the community. You don't want to be... Listen, I, I, I got away from my Muslim community in the local mosque years ago for the same reason. I was turning into one of those judgmental Muslims who like look down on people and oh and like there's that. a lot of them i'm pretty sure i was turning into one of those people i was one of those people. and i was also being judged and for certain things and always 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 basically worrying what people would say and not what god would think basically i came across this website the other day which is a website purely made and it's a pretty big website i don't know how i have never come across this in my eight to nine years of blogging i don't know how i've never come across this before but i'm glad i haven't I came across this website which is dedicated specifically to chat shit about bloggers and like literally if one person goes on there to defend a blogger they get bullied off it like yo this is if you want yo you want to you want to talk good about this blogger then go to a fan site in it this is not a fan site blah blah it's literally made to chat shit and i was reading my thread on there which is many pages you have a long. Thread. i've got a thread on there <laughs> and i came across it some of it is from years back and some of it is really recent and i was shocked I was shocked by what people were saying. It's nothing like I've ever seen before. And I was shocked by how much trouble or how, how, how many scenarios people were causing, were, were creating in their heads 
and putting it out there online. Basically, just making so much shit up or coming to assumptions that were just so far from the truth is unbelievable. I was so shocked at how bold people are when they can go on these chat forums, basically, and be properly anonymous. So this is the thing then. How much of an asshole you are when you don't have a face. So this, the, it's not even a face. See, this girl, she's getting attacked online as well. Yeah. So it's not in person. No, it's not. They so, but she knows these person. people. Yeah, exactly. But they're just going online. I hate when people Now that's do mad. That. that pisses me off, that does. That's mad. Yeah. Yeah, I would, stay I, would say, I, I would say I don't know how you're going to stay away from the community this is the problem it, um, uh, so stay away from it mentally in your head right now I know it's hard to because you're still only 17 and obviously that's like all you kind of know but eventually you know when you get a bit older and stuff you will feel strong enough where you don't need to please this or where you will realise that this community of yours is not the be all and end all of your life there is a bigger world out there. There is a bigger world. A way bigger world out there. I mean, yes. And they will not be your world anymore. And they will be so irrelevant. So irrelevant, it's unbelievable. If I knew at 17 the people who are around me... We're not going to be around, around me, The negative people around me would not mean jack shit to me when I was like 20-something. Yeah. I would have saved myself a lot of trouble. Oh, tell me I would have saved it. myself a lot of... Uh, you know, worrying and everything. Yes. If you just tell yourself, these people do not matter. And that whatever they say, okay, as much as they're making lies up about you, because the thing is, with some communities, the parents care so much about the image of the community that they will actually listen to those rumours. And then if your parents aren't on your side and they don't believe you because of the shit that's being chatted, it's, that's hard. You need to stand... If, you, if, if it's a parent issue, but it doesn't sound like it's a parent issue, you, but to those people, I would say stand your bloody ground. People feel like they, they need to live in hiding sometimes when they've done something as well. That's the thing, like... When they've done something out of community guidelines. It's bullshit, man. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. It's your life. How about you stay off social media? For a bit. For yeah. a bit. For a few months. You know, if you stay off while. social media, they've got nothing to talk about. They have nothing to talk about. People we've, love talking about people who are on social media, well, man. Well, well, we've done it sometimes. I, I remember the last time we did it and we were like, whoa, that felt good. Make yourself irrelevant for a bit. Yes. And yeah. then come back on the scene and say, what now, bitches? Yeah. What it do, man? Yeah. What? You, what? Who? What? What's yeah. your name? Yeah. Block out the haters. Just go like this and block blocking out the, the haters. haters. Blocking out the haters. Say blocking out the haters. Yeah. Because they are haters and they're hating on your steez, man. you got to block them out. We hope everything goes all right. Yeah, inshallah. Like we said, be patient. Don't you will grow it. out of this. It's just a phase where people are attacking you. And actually, when, if you want to get into social media, even if you get up to our age, people will not stop attacking you. It's just the way life is. When you're doing something in Basically, life... Basically, it's not even when you're doing something. If you are on people, social media, people will always have something to say. Or even in whether life. Whether you're a public figure or not. People are jealous mother actors. Yeah. Yeah? They, they, those guys are probably upset that you're, you are not talking to them. Because you're talking to your guy friends, they're calling you a slag and everything. But mm. they're just jealous that you're not talking they're to them. They're not talking to them. That's all it is. That's, that's literally, <laughs> literally what it is. That's literally all it is. You think, and, you think they're not talking to girls? Yeah, and that's why you pay them no attention. Yeah. Anyways, we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.